Yoga pants. What? Yoga pants. Yeah, that's what we're going to talk about. It's summertime. Even not summertime. Modesty. Yes. So, definitely. Uh, it's, a, it's somewhat of a topic that needs to be discussed. Hey, it's in California. People show skin. People want to be fashionable. But Christians, women, can we take it too far? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, Chuck and Laura here. Let's talk about it. We're talking about modesty. We read this article uh, on crosswalk.com um, and we will post the link to that. And the title of the article, it says, should Christian women wear yoga pants? <laughs> I'm not going to talk too much about this, um, this, this idea of modesty, mm-hmm. uh, but I want Laura to give a take on it. It's summer, right? Yes. Um, you know, I think that we were just on a walk a little while ago. Right. And this girl, I mean, she had, it was, no, what? it wasn't even yoga pants. It was just like underwear. Right. And. um, Yoga shorts. She, she was ba- <laughs> yoga shorts. Yes, yeah. basically, and yes. And pretty much a sports bra that right. was pretty much. It looked like, like a, a bathing suit. It, it, she was running. She was running. She was basically running um, in a bathing suit with running shoes. Right. Um. But it is hot. So I'm just trying to, I don't know. Navigate these waters. (laughs) So um, go ahead. Modesty. So I saw the article in my inbox um, and I said, it made me laugh. Mm. Should Christian women wear yoga pants? Like it just, it sounds silly. Okay. Of course you can wear yoga pants. Yeah. It's not a legalistic thing, right? No, no. You can wear However. Okay. Let me break something off for you. (laughs) First of all, again, the reason why I even was interested in the article is because of Olivia School, Ontario oh, yeah, Christian yeah, School. Yeah. They have dress code, which you cannot wear yoga pants. You can't wear it. You're, they're not permitted. Yeah. First Peter chapter 3, starting at verse 3 through verse 4 says, Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart. With the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is very precious in the sight of God. So if you've been to women's ministry or women's Bible studies, you hear this verse quoted all the time and it's beautiful. And and I kind of, you know, I I love it because we want to fashion our heart. I'm looking something up real quick. No, no, no. You want to fashion the heart. Okay. There's nothing in the Bible that says that you can't look cute or pretty, but... It is not wise to dress seductively. So I have a friend who has green eyes, Chuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she wears blue or or a green eyeshadow, and it really accentuates her eyes. So, ladies, you know your body type, and yoga pants accentuates. I think that's a good po- a good word. Accentuate. Accentuates yoga yeah. pants accentuates all the curves of your body. A woman could easily say, yeah, but they're comfortable. True. But you can wear yoga pants with a baggy sweatshirt or a baggy t-shirt. But it's hot. That's not the way most (laughs) women wear their yoga pants. Yeah, that's true. So there was a movie years ago. It was a Marvel movie and there was a gal in it and she was wearing a full turtleneck, full covered from the the wrist. Was it the X-Men thing? I'm not sure. I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know, about. but she, it was a pantsuit, okay. but the garment was like skin. Okay, got it. And to me, it was more um, seductive yeah. than a little summery dress Yeah, because yeah, 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 it's yeah. accentuating. It, she looked naked, but she just basically. had this leather suit basically, over or whatever, basically. right? Yeah. So I really encourage women these days, this is my point of view, to really think what are they wearing and why? Because yeah. clothes are an expression. But if you're Christian, you need to be thinking about the other person as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, you know. That's if, what Paul says. Is, yes. Is esteem others more than yourself. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And so I think that there's a lot of people, you know, think before you wear this item and then also think before you post. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. I think there's a deeper issue, um, like maybe an attention. I don't know, because there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of women that are going to disagree with you, even in the church. Right. They're going to be like, well, I don't have an attention problem. I don't, I don't need that. My husband gives me attention and I can wear what I want. Right. And I don't, or my boyfriend gives me attention or they feel like in God's eyes, you know, they're already approved. Yes. And I'm just going to wear it because I want to wear it. Right. 
and I get it. Mm-hmm. But if the other person stumbles right. or if a man or even a woman, right, they could get jealous, mm-hmm. um, then uh, that's their problem. Right. Like they need to tell, they need to go to a prayer and figure that out or go to a men's group or tell their men's leader like mm-hmm. yoga pants are my kryptonite. A brother said that to me one time. Mm-hmm. He said, yoga pants are my kryptonite. Right. And I'm like, bro, you need to just like turn, turn your, your neck head. or yeah. something. Be, right. You know? So what do you say to that? Because that's okay. the thing. Like so I bring, think context too, like yes. the beach. Well, if you know you're going mean? to yoga class and you're all around women, you're good, girl. Yeah. Because you're not stumbling those women. You're mm. wearing athletic wear for the purpose of exercising. Got it. But if you're wearing something for the purpose of attention, I'm not saying all women do that. Yeah. Because again, what it, what does it say right here? It says, do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, putting fine apparel, but let your focus be the incorruptible yeah. beauty of the heart. That's dope. What does God think of me? Why am mm. I dressing this way? That's what, that's... That's what I feel like is the yeah, takeaway is yeah. that it's a matter of the heart, right? Yeah. And so here's the thing. Really, yoga pants get to get back to the issue of yoga pants. They're fitness wear, it's athletic fitness wear, wear, right? Yeah. Okay, but Is I Lululemon have... fitness wear? Yeah. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> I don't even know because everybody's down for those Lululemon's, yeah. Are they like super comfortable? I don't know. I don't have you a pair, but Olivia them. has some, yeah. Okay, because she so. uses them for dance. Correct, because they're absolutely for dance. Wear. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm not throwing shade at girls that want to wear them casually. But or if again, they're if they're in the dance studio or they're in the in the um recital. Right. 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 Exactly. So. But like, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just the okay. So getting to yoga pants and fitness, or how you're dressing and fitness, right? Because you did mention it's hot. Yeah. I I know a lot of women that are godly. They love Jesus. Yeah. And they're into fitness, but I've never once see them post a bikini photo. Got it. Because they don't need to. Yeah. They don't need to advertise or post or yeah. share. Yeah. You know, like I have a law degree, but I don't post pictures of that. I don't You don't to. post your pictures of you in court. I have before, (laughs) but my degree, I haven't taken a picture of the degree and said, this is important. I want the world to know. And so it's just, you know, to each his own, I'm not judging you. I, I, you know, it's, it's a great article. Read the article. Men are visual. Yeah. Men are visual. Men are visual. And Instagram is a visual. Yeah. Tool and I was going to, but anyway, I was, I was trying, I had a thought. (laughs) Sorry. I'm so sorry. So, um, (laughs) No, I think that this is a good topic. Right. Uh, it's worth talking about it with your your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your spouse, whoever. Right. I think that uh, I don't know about men and modesty. Sometimes men can boast. I don't know. You know, nobody needs to be seeing your abs. Right. Uh, you know, unless you're guys post themselves working out. I don't have social media, so I don't even know. <laughs> but it does. It does. You know, it might stumble a lady. Right. You know. Right. So. I guess just be wise in how you present your body. Exactly. I think that's exactly right. And I just think that being someone that's always loved clothes and fashion, I truly believe it's an expression that's of That's what I was going to okay, say. Okay, good. I'm glad What you about the back. whole thing of the like posting the um, the Vava Voom dress? You're going out with your husband. Mm-hmm. You're posting a Vava Voom dress with the fire <laughs> emoji. Right. Because um, you've showed me pictures of like that before and I'm like, Dude, you that's think that crazy. The line. Like, you know, right. I know you're going out to a wedding or maybe dinner right. or something, mm-hmm. and you want to post like, "Hey, I'm having a date night." We're talking to I Christians here. I just gotta here. say it. What's I just go- gotta I mean, say it. Look, what, what? you can be elegant without being sexy. Yeah. Okay, and if your dress is a little bit risque. Don't post it. That's just me. Don't post yeah. it because you're Christian and there's brothers in Christ that are looking at that. And there's brothers in Christ that are single. <laughs> right. And there's brothers in Christ that are going to be like, dang, his wife is hot. That's, is that the kind of attention you want, ladies? Yeah. They're going to be like in their mind saying that, like, you know what I mean? Right. Right. And so, so it's it, it's touchy, I know, and I, I, I forgive me if I've offended anybody, Yeah. but... God's word is God's word. And, and the, the, the point when I said I liked fashion is that should not be our primary. I look yeah. good. I feel good. I'm healthy. So it's I'm hard in the this. Co- it's because of the, the culture. Dress. No, the culture you don't perpetuates have to do that. it. I think right. the culture perpetuates it. 
Um, but I really like what you said the other day. You told me that um, your friend wanted to be healthy on the inside. Yes. Because of the culture and how we glorify. There's nothing wrong with being confident. confident. Because what is the goal? I mean, you know, I'm actually glad now that Olivia shared more. I'm glad that they don't let the the students wear the yoga pants. Because not so much for the girls, but for the men. Yeah. Because the little teen boys, even a teacher, lots of girls are curvy. And even if you're not, if you're skinny, it's still accentuating your body. And I don't believe that that's wise at church, at a Christian school, whatever. Now, if you're going to dance studio and you're wearing form-fitting leggings because you're going to be doing Pilates, that's different. Or if you're going to the gym. (laughs) It's different. So just just think about it, ladies. And, And men, don't feel ashamed if you need to tell your wife that's a little bit too attention grabbing outfit. I don't think there's anything yeah. wrong for, for my dad did it. My dad did outfit checks. Now it's a different culture than today. Yeah. But my dad would say, Miha, no, you need you to know, change. Yeah. Why? Why did my dad tell me I needed to change when I, I was it, 16? Because he didn't want men, you know gushing over your sixteen little and girl. men that are older. Correct. And, yes. You know, this is a topic like <laughs> that people don't want to talk about, you know. You could clearly see that Laura has a lot to say on it. I'm just <laughs> like, you know, there's been these conversations in our home a lot. Right. Uh, not necessarily between us, but, you know, with Olivia growing, we have a teen, daughter, we have a teen yeah. daughter. And um, I think we, we're we sm- mostly speaking to Christians here, you know, because, right. you know, the out there in the world, it's like if you got it, flaunt it type of attitude. But um, I guess we just have to remember that we ha- even this scripture, even though it's written to women, it applies to everybody, right? Yes. We got, what does it say here in the word again? Do Re- not let your adornment be merely outward, yes. arranging the hair, wearing gold, or not putting on ver- fine outward. apparel. Because yeah. dudes spend a lot of time in the mirror too. Let's just be honest, yeah, what right? What do they call it? Manscaping? Manscaping and... And um, the hair products. The hair products. Club for men, for shaving. And all that stuff. Cologne. And, you know... <laughs> the axe smell at Olivia's yeah, school is axe. unreal, okay? Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's not really what I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> no, I know. Like, I'm I know. saying I'm that they... Teasing. Men, you know, they, they there's more of a thing out there of, like, take care of yourself, body wash and... right. But what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that... That shouldn't be the number one yes, priority of life. Yes, that's what I'm life. trying to say. I'm yeah. trying to say that number one priority is God. Amen. Right? Yes. It's God. Because it's eternal. I mean, you know what I love? One of my favorite quotes. Audrey Hepburn says, the best accessory you can put on is a smile. Yeah, that's awesome. And she's timeless, iconic. Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. The best accessory a woman can put on is a smile. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you guys for checking us out in this conversation. Um, let's talk about it. Chuck and Laura here at 7 p.m. Check us out. Drop C- us a comment. Cmontclair.com. Um, this was a good one. Yeah. So see you guys God next week. You. God bless you guys. Bye.